All right, YouTube, I currently don't have my vlog camera, but we are on the side of the road. Uh, we're gonna have to use this as the footage, but let's, uh, so here we go. Put clutch in. Nope, nope. So it, it, went, it made a big bam noise on the highway, but uh, let's go ahead and check out outside real quick. Oil, baby. <laughs> so, blue, blue the choosy Z up. There's oil. Um, when I blew my turboed one up originally, there was a lot more oil, but um, it was the same thing. It went all over the firewall. There is some down on the firewall. Can, can you guys see it back there? That sucks. So, uh, not the worst thing in the world. So, we're going to be using a uh, monkey wrench racing. I'll, I'll continue to tell a story when I get back. Uh, currently on the side of the highway, so I'm gonna have to go borrow one of my parents' car. How great is that? This is hilarious. Brand fresh, new painted, just in time for the 2ZZ to go boom. Um, 160,000 miles on this 2ZZ. Um, I think that the 2ZZ should la last about 300,000 miles, so I'm surprised that this one did this. Okay, so we're leaving the car there. <laughs> it's gonna get up on a tow truck and uh. We'll jump to the garage because I, I don't know what I'm going to do. What are we going to do? I got to boost it, but it blew up. So uh, we got the big uh, Ram. <laughs> I uh, upgraded to the Ram, maybe downgraded. All right, there is the Celica. See you later, dude. It literally blew up. Oh my God. Hi guys, we're currently back in my garage. It's a day later. We're with my Turbo 2ZZ MR2 Spider. Uh, my Celica blew up. <laughs> So uh, as I was driving, I went over to my hometown and I um, just got the car back. I think I got the car back like on Thursday or Wednesday, uh, freshly painted. Um, just got the car back and then drove it over to Eastern Washington where I'm from. And the uh, car was fine. Um, everything worked fine. All the transmission is beautiful on that car. It always has been. Uh, but when I bought that car um, originally, which I told you guys, I didn't get the best deal on it. I, I, I tried to argue or... Um, lower the guy down a little bit, but I never got that great of a deal on it, so I paid a lot for the car. Um, and uh, But when I bought it, VVTLI um, kicked pretty hard, so lift worked really well. Uh, but after owning it for a little bit, actually believe it or not, having Redline Ricer drive it home, um, we were playing with each other on the highway with the MR2 and the Celica, and I said, you know, go, go, I'll catch ya. And he floor it, and it, like when it sky, you know, it wouldn't rock it off like it normally would. And he's like, it kind of felt slow. And I was like, hmm. And uh, after then, when I drove it and had been driving for like a month or two, filming the last I don't know month of videos, uh, like at 7,200 RPMs, lift didn't really wasn't really happy. So I think something was always wrong with it. It made a rattling noise. Um, everyone kept on saying it was a spin. Well, my brother-in-law and then a, a, two of my mechanic friends, oh, he spun a bearing, then it then it caught and probably threw a rod. We'll see if that's the case. Um, but usually in my case, when, when, when bearings spin, they don't, they, don't, they don't make a rattle noise at very, very high RPMs. It's usually like at 1,000 or 2,000 RPM. So like at 2,000 RPM, you'll get a, a rattle noise that sounds like a, um, a baby, uh, like a little baby rattle. That's usually what they sound like. Um, and that, that usually means the, the bearings have been spun and it's spinning around the connecting, um, the connecting cap and the uh, the uh, the the rod, but so I think what happened was I think I threw a rod. Uh, I think it disconnected from the 2ZZ and either blew it out the back. I didn't crawl on my back and look underneath the car, um, but I think it blew out the back of the block or through the oil pan and punctured a hole in the oil pan. Long story short, 2ZZ is garbage, so that one's worth nothing. Um, it'll just be thrown away and melted for scrap. Uh, I ordered a new one already. And then uh, I got a bunch of comments on Instagram, everyone saying, you know, why, why do you think this happened and what can I do? Um, I think it happened because someone either over revved that car. So they were going maybe like in, maybe they were going 80 miles an hour and stuck it into second gear and it revved to like 13,000 RPMs for a millisecond and then they maybe put the clutch back in. I think that could have happened. Um, it, the car was never turbo, it was completely stock, so I mean the, 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 the intake was the only thing that was aftermarket on it. Um, 
may, you know, I don't think anything like that. It probably more than likely is what most people do, and they just don't change the oil. So it just had oil starvation or bad oil in it, and it wore a bearing, could have wore a bearing, um, and then that bearing got scratched on and then caught and then broke. Um, that's probably what happened, or or what I'm my opinion is is that someone over revved it, floated a valve, and the valve um, dropped when I uh, was driving and broke off and stuck into one of the pistons. I think that's what I think that's what happened, but we'll see. I'm probably not going to open it up, um, but I'll have my mechanic take pictures of it. Uh, when I say my mechanic, I usually like to do all my work, and I'm very upset that I'm not going to put this 2ZZ in because I want to do it. Um, I just don't have the time or the means to a place to do it right now. So um, what's going to happen is, uh, well, actually, I'll tell you real quick how it happened. So um, pulled over. Um, got water and then went to get up back, merge back on the highway, went into second, went up to like 4,000, 5,000 RPM, or first, then into second, went up to, into lift, and then in third, just mashed the gas. And it went into lift and started climbing, and then right at like 7,000, it made a high vibrating noise like it did before, and then just made, it went, it goes pop, 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 and then bah, and it just stopped. And uh, the oil light comes on on the dash, because it lost oil pressure. Uh, and then uh, the uh, smoke from the oil came out. No, no coolant got into the cylinder. That's usually what happens is coolant gets in the cylinder and makes a big white smoke. That didn't happen. Um, but yeah, the, the engine just was, I think, mistaken care of. My personal opinion is, is that these two ZZs can go about 350,000 miles if they're well maintained. If they're not maintained or over revved um, or, or oil starvation, or you never change the lift bolts like on the them. That's why it's kind of weird on this one. The lift bolts on this car are 2003 and plus, so they shouldn't have broken. They should have been good. I don't think it was lift bolts. Um, but yeah, that, that's crazy. So what's going to happen is I already ordered a 2ZZ from Monkey Wrench. It's going to have the Monkey Wrench um, valves put in it. I'm not going to do uh, a built full built motor. Just the head is going to have some work on it. Um, it's going to have uh, the MWR pulleys. Um, the underdrive and the alternator pulley creates a little bit more horsepower, just a little bit, like one or two. And then I'm going to have the, um, which I have it on this car actually currently, I'm going to have uh, them put a MWR steel lightweight flywheel, eight pounds flywheel, uh, not the Fidanza one. This car is a Fidanza one and I just didn't want to do a Fidanza. Um, I bought a $400 competition stage two clutch, um, which will be nice. And I think that's it. So I already got an uh, engine paid for. Um, the engine's about $4,000, it's a lot. Um, use my, go to Monkey Wrench and, and, and tell them I sent you and they'll give you a discount. I use my discount for them. Um, they're really, really nice. So they hooked me up, so it was a good deal. Uh, but that being said, that's what I'm gonna do, is put a new engine in it. It'll be nice. Um, it will be, it's not a full rebuild. It's a used engine with a, 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 a head from Monkey Wrench, so it'll be better. Um, but it's not going to be like a full, full rebuild, um, or it's not going to be a fully built engine. Uh, but it'll be good, and it'll, uh, they're, 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 it'll be inspected my monkey wrench. So that being said, I, I would say it's a, a rebuild, um, since the head's different. It's a swapped head, just the lower end hasn't been pulled apart and re-put together. Um, which I don't need to do that on a, um, on the, on a low, on a low boost setting that I'm going to be doing, like eight pounds or ten pounds. I don't need to do that. So we'll end up uh, having my mechanic. Uh, install a 2ZZ from Monkey Wrench with all those bells and whistles on there um, and it'll go NA and then I'll drive it back over to where I live um, and then I'll start the turbo process. I was really contemplating having the car shipped all the way over here but it's hundreds of miles, it's like two or three hundred miles, uh, shipping back and having it to my garage and then me ordering the 2ZZ and putting that in, I thought that would be more fun and more easy. Um, but at this point I think it's just going to be best for me to have the car running. So I'll put a new 2ZZ in it, um, yeah, and then drive back over here, and then pull off all the, um, all the, uh, you know, in, uh, not intake, but all the, yeah, the intake, the exhaust, and then we'll set the turbo build for it and have the car be down for a while, probably like a month while we do the turbo kit. Um, but yeah, now I'm back to the MR2 as a daily driver, <laughs> back to this thing. Yeah, really unexpected. I, I truly did not think that was gonna blow up. I thought that I just needed to change the lift bolts. That's what I was thinking in my head. Like that vibrating noise, that I just need to change the lift bolts. But I, I don't, I honestly don't know what happened. Um, 
I'll find out for you guys. I'm sorry, that sucks. Everyone's kind of sad, but hey, it is what it is. It's kind of funny actually, to be honest. But 160,000 miles on a, a GTS is, to me, doesn't seem like it should that should happen. So I, I still love 2ZZs. I always will. But I'm surprised on this one. I think it was just due to uh, lack of maintenance, and that's my opinion. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, swing by mystery.com, buy some goodies. I still have that TRD front bumper. So if someone wants a TRD front bumper, if no one takes it, I'm going to keep it and paint it and put it on the Tsunami car for the turbo kit so it'll fit on there. But I would highly recommend someone getting that because it's a nice piece. Um, other than that, make sure to like, subscribe, guys. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I blew up a 2ZZ. Boom! <laughs> like, subscribe. See you guys on the next video.